I think we have, there it goes, Facebook. We gotta love Facebook. Hey guys, it's Leah Virgin, your Christian coach and author at BurstingWithBlessings.com. And today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm so happy to be with you, Instagram, Facebook. And I am just excited to pray over our new year, you guys. I'm just so excited. Um, I can't believe that this this year is coming to a close. Can you feel it, right? Can you feel like the determination of like the majority of the world is like, can we just get to the new year? <laughs> and I'm there too with you guys. And I have been very intentional about our daily devotionals and really thinking about and planning what God wants, right? What God wants, not what we want, but what God wants, right? Hey, Jody. Hey, Lauren. Thanks for coming on here. Appreciate you guys. Let me see if I can give a heart. Uh, hey, Molly. Thanks for popping on real quick. And I, I gave you a wave. Hey, Karen. You guys are the best. I love you guys. So I was uh, I was talking with a client the other day. And, you know, she was saying, I just appreciate what you've been writing. And I'm determined to, you know, not just tell God, help me with the plans that I want, but to plan what God wants me to plan. And I was like, girl, I'm taking that and I am telling that to everybody because that is exactly what I want us to do. It is what I want to do. I want to know what God wants for me, right? You know, I... I am so grateful for his power and his majesty and how he can move in our lives. But I think that we often don't give him enough space to move in our lives. Can I get an amen? Because we all want to control the outcome of the circumstances in our lives. Like, I don't know about you guys. Hey, Joe. I don't know about you guys, but I often have to check myself and be like, no, I'm not going to worry or be anxious or try to craft the outcome of this situation the way I want. I want to give God the space to craft the outcome according to his will. Amen. Right. And so, hey, Samantha, thanks for joining and so I really want us to be intentional about thinking about this, right? You know, really about seeking his, um, his divine plans. And here's the other thing, you guys, that I, I, I kind of kind of bounce around a little bit. I can feel it because I'm so excited. So hang with me, okay, guys? Just hang with me. I know I'm going to bounce a little bit. But I'm so excited because I want to share these things with you. Like I, my coach, um, is is Ryan Dowdy. She's a, she's my sales and business coach. She's amazing. She's she said, "You guys, we're not a we're we're too afraid to fail. We've been taught in life don't fail tests, don't fail um, you know, school or grades or all these things. We get this cultural indoctrination that, you know, failure is bad, right? And that you know, whatever happens, we have to control what happens so that we can make sure that that it's it's the perfect outcome and that people think that we're great and we're not embarrassed and that we don't, you know, that we don't feel like we failed, right? Think about that for a second. We're indoctrinated by the world. I mean, hello, the enemy, uh, that we have to be perfect. And God never called us to be perfect. He called us to perfect our faith in him. That is the difference, right? And I think cultivating faith is that unshakable trust that no matter what happens, no matter what the outcome looks like, God's going to use it for his glory, for his kingdom agenda, and for our good. Right? And so I kind of want us to think about and pray boldly. 
right? Like I know, right? Let his strength manifest in my weakness, right? You know, our weakness is that we want to control things, that we want to be anxious and kind of like manipulate circumstances and people and things so we can get. I'm right there. You guys know, hashtag real and raw. We don't play. I always tell you the truth, right? This lady's always gonna be growing, <laughs> right? I'm always gonna be growing. You know, like what I want us to think about is like, you know, going into our prayer time, maybe maybe two times a day, try if you can, like morning and night and just be like, you know, God, I just want to follow your plans, but I want to make them big. I want to make them, you know, so, so big that it takes me being faith filled and working with you to make that outcome the way you want, right? Like I just want us to, both the devotional today and yesterday had some tips. And I know I'm kind of a little bit overly excited, so I'm trying to be clear. Lord, give me clarity. Um, you know, but just dig in with God. And, you know, I pray a lot on my treadmill, you know, and that's what I did today. I was on the treadmill for 50 minutes, and I was just like, God, you know, I need and want only the things that you want, right? Because there's all these ideas that bubble into our head, right? And we get all this information from the world, like, Maybe you should go on a diet. Maybe you should, you know, get out of debt. Maybe you should this. Maybe you should that. I don't want you guys shitted on by the world and told what your New Year plans need to be. Those things are good. And if God calls you to that, that's great. But I want you guys to be like, not what the world wants, not what I want, but what God wants. What could it be? Where could he be leading me? Right? And then, of course, I want to help you along that path. That's what my coaching programs are for, right? And just so you guys know, two more days and the cost of my group coaching program goes up to $250 a month. So all you guys should be jumping on my $9.99 a month program. All of you guys, like, because that's way awesome. Let me just tell you. We are going to be jumping and diving into Nehemiah in January, you guys, because I want us to grow in leadership skills. I want us to grow in strength of, of just cultivated faithfulness. Nehemiah was so faithful, and he was doing a mighty work, and God exponentially grew the power of these people. 58 days to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem? Y'all, only with Yahweh. Amen? Amen. And the word of God said, now nothing that humans plan is impossible for them. Remember Tower of Babel when God said, now nothing is impossible. But we need to proclaim, now that which I plan with God and his plans, nothing is impossible for us. Nothing is impossible for you. You are forgiven, loved, set free. None of your past matters. It does not matter what has happened this year. It does not matter what happened 10 years ago. None of that matters because God, God casts our sin as far as the east is to the west. And he remembers it no more. So I don't want you shackled by your past thoughts. I don't want you shackled by, oh, I don't know if I can. I lack confidence. I lack courage. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. You can cultivate confidence and courage in God. The Lord says, right? The Psalm says, I called on you, Lord, and you made me bold and strong. You girded me with strength. Amen? And when we proclaim that over ourselves, and trust me, ladies, I proclaim it every single day. There is not a day that goes by that I am not like, Lord, empower me by your treasures and glory. Power me by your word. Give me your energy and strength. Align my thoughts with your will and your way, Lord. Not one day anymore goes by. 
And when we start talking like that, when we start proclaiming like that, when we start walking around saying that and our kids are seeing that and we are changing, that, that is when we have given the space for God to come in and start making a mighty work in us. That is when he heals relationships. That when That's when he starts to move in our businesses, grow our businesses, grow our mindset, give us the confidence and courage to, you know, discipline our children in, in the word of the Lord. To cultivate and heal relationships. To find ways to get out of debt. To find ways to, to make healthy habits. If that is what God is calling you to do. Right? And that's what I want for you guys. I want for you guys to find time with God. Just a few minutes here and there. The shower. Ladies, I'm telling you, we all are, have full schedules. I'm in the shower and I'm like, okay, God, <laughs> what should I be thinking on? What should I be doing? Right? There's so many time, so many different times in the day where we can spend 30 seconds just connecting with Abba Father, just getting, getting that Holy Spirit alignment, right? So ladies, I know, I know, I give you guys, I give my, my clients, I give you guys ways to make time even in the midst of our full days, right? We can do that. And so I'm just going to pray over us. I, I'm trying not to make this too long. Y'all know I can be chatty, but I'm so fired up because I know the word of God says the women are a mighty army. The women. Don't you forget it, ladies. You are a mighty army. You, you are a general, you are a commander, and you are shining the light of Christ to everyone around you. You are the ones that will empower and change the future, your community, a legacy of blessings, a legacy of blessings. We're going to break every chain by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, by letting our good shepherd vanquish the devourer away from our harvest of blessings. I want you guys speaking that, right? Jesus, come in and break the schemes of the enemy against us and rebuke the devourer away from our harvest, right? Because in, in the same season, Abraham, in the same season, God gave him a hundredfold harvest. And the Lord is no respecter of persons. He can do that in our lives. And by the way, Abraham is no, no better than us. Moses, no better than us. By the way, he was a murderer. And God made him the number one pastor. And if he can do that with Moses, he can do anything with you and me. Anything. Nothing is impossible for us who are empowered by the Holy Spirit and who plan the plans of the Lord. And even if, ladies, even if God just tells you, just lean into me, that's good enough too. We don't have to have massive things on our biblical vision board. If you do, that's awesome. But I want you guys just, just keep leaning into him. Just keep listening. Little bits throughout the day. You're folding the laundry, listening to your Bible app, talking with God, right? Right? Because now nothing is impossible for us who plan with the Lord, right? And I know, I know God wants the women to be the ones that make the massive change, that are the ones that rise up, that create massive blessings in 2021. I know it. I can see it. I can see it, you guys. And I'm so fired up about it. I can see it. And so anyway, <laughs> so today's daily devotional, the um, verse it was from Psalm 34. I sought the Lord and he answered me and rescued me from all my fears because there is nothing we need to fear. Right, ladies? Verse 5, they looked to him and were radiant. Their faces were never, will never be ashamed. 
Never. Not nothing. No failure, perceived failure, nothing. There is nothing we need to be ashamed of. This wretched woman cried out, and the Lord heard her and saved her out of all her troubles and continues to save and continues to bless and continues to give me extraordinary opportunities. That is what he is going to do for you too. And I want you to proclaim it. The angel of the Lord, thank you, Jesus, encamps around those who fear him, are in awe of him and rescues them. That is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord says he daily bears our burden. And when we, the women, are empowered by that word, when we speak that word daily, then God moves and he moves mighty mountains. Not in the way we expect. I'm going to tell you, ladies, he often doesn't show up and do the things that I expect. (laughs) But he does extraordinary things. Extraordinary things. And sometimes they look so simple for a moment but then when you look behind you you're like wow he brought me here he took the flood he took my sin he took my shame my sadness and he took those broken pieces and made a beautiful mosaic now i don't need to live by that now i'm empowered confident and courageous set free and able to do a mighty work with him by his strength we are empowered by his word from his treasures and glory now nothing which you plan with god is impossible for you nothing nothing and so i want you guys to plan big with god I want you to plan big. I want you to think big. And I want you, even if it doesn't come true, just like Joyce Meyer said, I'd rather ask for the moon and only get halfway there than not ask at all and never get anywhere. That's not exactly how she said it, but roundabout. I'd rather ask for a hundredfold harvest and get a 50-fold harvest than not ask for a harvest and get nothing. Right? God says, you have not because you pray not. And he also says, put your hand to the plow and do not look back because I'm trying to do a new thing in your life. And we ladies look back far too much at our past and let far too much of the lies of the enemy keep us from the blessings. And God wants you to boldly walk into your promised land. Boldly, courageously, empowered, letting him vanquish your giants. That's what he wants. And it will take bold faith. But I know you ladies. I know you ladies. You're amazing. You guys inspire me. And I know that you guys are going to do amazing things. I know you will be up against some giants. You know you guys will have battles. I will too. But our good shepherd, our Abba Father, covers us with his pinions. Psalm 91 says he extricates us from trouble and satisfies us with long life and blessings. So we know we will have trouble, but he can get us out of it. He can bless us through it. He can grow us through it. Amen? Stepping stones. All these perceived failures, all these face plants, we're going to use them as stepping stones. Though the righteous fall seven times, the Lord picks them up again. And for me, it might be 77 um cubed by 77 or whatever that is <laughs> all right you ladies i'm sorry i can get talking it's already 20 minutes in i love you guys we are gonna pray let's pray let's pray mm. jesus thank you oh lord thank you thank you thank you praise you 
Thank you, Lord, that we have such amazing access to your holy word. Thank you that we can proclaim your holy word on our lives. Thank you that you have forgiven us, that you have set us free, that you have empowered us by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We humbly come to the throne room of grace. As Paul says, boldly, boldly we can enter into the throne room because of you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Lord, please forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us and empower us by your Spirit. We want to be the mighty warriors. The women are a mighty army, and I know you want us empowered. I know that you want us breaking chains and leaving a legacy of blessings that, that power through ten generations. So, Lord, I just pray that you would... A thousandfold bless these women, that you would surround them with your favor as a shield, that you would sensitize their hearts and their minds to hear your plans, your plans for them. We want your plans, Lord God. We want to put our hand to the plow that you want us to. We want to boldly walk into our promised land. We want to work for your glory. We want others to see our good deeds and glorify you, Lord God. And so, Lord, I pray, I pray that you would break the schemes of the enemy away from these women, that you would vanquish the devourer, that you would not let the enemy come anywhere near these women, that you would put mighty hedges of protection around them, and that you would exponentially grow their businesses, their, their blessings, their families, with blessings, their bank accounts with blessings, that you would bring peace within their borders, make them to eat of the finest, and that they would glorify you every single day, and that they would speak of your marvelous wonders every single day. Because we are drawing near to you, Lord God. Please draw near to us. Make your face to shine upon us. Make us sensitized to your word. Imprint your holy word upon our hearts and minds so that we can call it up any time we are facing the giants. Please go before us opening doors that no spirit or person can shut. Help us not to be jealous or to look around or to look at the past or, or even to even remotely bleed the lies of the enemy but that we would just keep our eyes fixed on you, Jesus, as we walk across the waves, leaving behind good ship comfort. We don't want the comfortable place. We want the extraordinary place where you craft the outcome, that the outcome is yours. It's the way you want it. Not the way we want it, the way and I pray, Lord, that you would continue to just strengthen, bless, protect, and keep these amazing women. Thank you that I get the privilege of praying over them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Sorry, ladies. You know, I can get overclimped <laughs> when I start praying because I am honored to serve you all. And I am so grateful for the time that you spend with me. I am grateful for you guys. And I am here for you. Um, whatever you need, I want you to reach out. Whether it's personal, private prayer that you need. Or if you have questions about my coaching programs. No, two more days. And that coaching program is going up in price, ladies. It's amazing. <laughs> And so I long to serve you guys. I long to serve whatever plans, goals, and dreams that you have, that you get from the Lord for 2021. I am here for you guys. And I am so, so blessed and so excited to see what God does in your lives. I am so excited to see what God does in your lives. I know it's going to be amazing. And so I hope you guys will join me. Um, Saturday, I'm going to be talking about goals and breaking down our goals and plans and our biblical vision board and all that stuff on Saturday in the group at 2 p.m. East Coast time. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the daily devotional tomorrow. I kind of feel like going live again tomorrow, so we don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll got to see, you know, 
But I love you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow.